Okay, today I want to talk about BitLocker encryption. Now, your C drive in your computer or your hard drive, if I open my computer, I can see my C drive here. The C drive has my files on it, and under users, uh, my login name is actually user. If I point at this, see, I can see that I am user. So under C users user, I have my desktop, my documents, my downloads, any of the files um, on my computer are accessible there. So if my computer is stolen or lost, anyone can take my hard drive out of my computer, hook it up to another computer, and see my files just like this. So what BitLocker does is it provides you a way to encrypt the drive, which will prevent anyone from accessing it without your permission, your files and data. So in order to find BitLocker, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to my Start menu, and I'm just going to type in Bit. And I'm going to look for the control panel version of Manage BitLocker. And as you can see, mine is turned off here. Now, this is only available in the professional versions. It's not on the home versions of Windows. So when I go to turn this on, it's going to tell me that I can't do that because I don't have a trusted platform module. Now, most computers for business and other computers will have the TPM in there. And what this does is it automatically stores the encryption key in your computer so that if the hard drive is removed and connected to another computer, that key will not be available and that other computer won't be able to access the data. So but this is telling me that I don't have one of those, so I can't use it. So I have to say is please uh, ask your administrator to enable it. So to enable it, what I'm going to have to do is go to group policy settings. So I'm just going to type in the word group here. And I'm going to again find a control panel item called edit group policy. And that's going to open this window here. And what I'm going to have to do is go down from the, under the local computer, not the user configuration, go down to Administrative Templates, and then Windows Components, and then BitLocker Drive Encryption. And under that, we have Operating System Drives. I'm going to switch over here to Standard so it's easier to see. And I'm going to scroll down here to Require Additional Authentication at Startup. And when I open this, I'm going to have an option for, if I enable this policy, I can now put a check mark here by allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. And I'm going to go ahead and set all these options default because all I'm going to want to do is type in a number each time my computer comes up and that's going to encrypt my drive with that number. Now you can use a USB key, uh, but if you lose that key it becomes problematic because then you have to recover your uh, encryption. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and say OK here and close this out. Now, I don't think I'm going to have to reboot. Let's see. I've closed that. Now, when I hit turn on BitBlocker, now it's going to go ahead and that I've enabled that. It's going to go ahead and check and give me some options. And I just want to use a password. So the password must be at least eight characters long. So I'm going to use basically a phone number and add a number to the end. 8675309 and then 9. Then 8675309. I'll say next. Now the recovery key is very important. If my computer ever has a problem and I need to take my hard drive out and connect it to another computer, I will need the recovery key to actually access the data. So I want to save this in my Microsoft account, which that way I'll be able to automatically find it from anywhere because it's safely tucked away under my password with my username and password to Microsoft. I'm going to save it to a flash drive. I've inserted this uh, USB flash drive. Now, I'm not going to save it to a file because if I try to save it to a file and try to save it to my computer here, like if I try to save it to my desktop, it's going to be like, no, you can't do that because it knows it's about to encrypt that drive. And I'm also going to print out the recovery key. So we're going to print that out. Now, after that, I'm going to go ahead. I've, so I now have it saved in my Microsoft account, saved on a USB drive, and I've printed it out where I'll take that printout and put it in my safe. Next, um, we've got just encrypt the use disk space or encrypt the entire drive. Now, when you delete files, those files are still out there. So if I don't encrypt the entire drive, any files that I deleted that are still there won't be encrypted. So I'm going to say encrypt entire drive. And then on this, I'm going to use the new encryption mode. Um, I'm not worried about trying to connect this to Windows 7 or Windows XP or anything like that. I want the best encryption that's available, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. 
Now on this it says run BitLocker, BitLocker system check. What this is going to do is basically check my thumb drive and see that I have a copy of that. Again, it really wants to make sure you have that recovery key because if you encrypt your drive and then you have a problem later, you will lose access to your own data. The whole point is that you don't lose access to your data. Now I'm going to say continue and it's going to be ready to restart. Okay, and now if we go back into BitLocker, we're now gonna see that the drive is encrypting. If we come down here, we can see this little thing and we can see the percentage that it has uh, completed. Okay, now several hours later, the uh, hard drive has now been encrypted. So now we have suspend protection, backup your recovery key, and we have the options here and it says BitLocker is on. So now what we'll see when we restart the computer, because we do not have the TPM, um, we will get prompted. Okay, and now we're restarting after about a 45 minute restart. And we now see the enter the password for your drive. And I'm going to use the 86753099. Hit enter. And now the system is going to be able to boot up like it normally would. I'm going to log in with my regular password. And there we go. Okay, so we mentioned uh, backing up the recovery key. You can also get it from going to the Microsoft website if you saved it to your Microsoft account. Now, if some software, when you're doing an update to firmware where the system needs to reboot and access, or it basically needs to access the file system directly, sometimes you want to, might want to suspend protection. If you do this and say yes, basically it will stop encrypting the files that it's writing to the hard drive, but once you reboot, it will go ahead and turn that back on. So you may need to do that for some things if they don't work for compatibility. Um, once you're done, you just reboot or you can go to resume protection and then it begins encrypting all the files it creates. Now, if you're going to remove this hard drive um, or if you were going to take like get this hard drive out and maybe put in another hard drive and you no longer wanted the encryption, then you simply would click the turn off and turn this off. It took about seven hours to encrypt this uh, C drive and that was, uh, I did encrypt the entire drive. So basically a 500 gig drive, it took about eight hours. This is an i7 processor. So to unencrypt it would again, take probably about the seven hours to do. So that's everything to do with BitLocker. Um, if you have this option available, I would use it. The most important thing is to remember your recovery key. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to send me any comments or questions.